Hi, welcome back to uh, part two of Drawing Spider-Man by me, John McRae. Um, this is my pencils of Spider-Man and now I'm going to ink it. Uh, usually I use these uh, fine line pens, unipin pens, uh, zig, scroll and brush, Tipex pen, pencil rubber. Um, possibly a ruler, but I don't see no straight lines in this Spider-Man picture, so probably not the ruler today. Anyway, um, I'll start off with my fine liner uh, and start with Spidey's head. Let's uh, get down to it, start putting in the big sweeping lines of the figure. Um, just being careful on to keep everything quite nice and neat. But you don't want to. And remember, when you're drawing, it's all good to turn the page so that it uh, you're working in the direction of flow, so that you're not working against it. So let's just get the big sweeping lines of Spidey put in. as best I can. Uh, again, this is a convention sketch sort of style thing, so I'm drawing it on red paper and I'll be using the tip X as a kind of a highlighter effect at the end, uh, just to give the sketch a little bit more oomph. And can't claim to say that I invented the idea of using Tipex with with your convention sketches. Nothing's new under the sun. But I don't think I'd recall seeing anybody doing it before I did it uh, the way I do it, but uh, on coloured paper as well. But, you know, obviously. There probably is precedent from uh, other folks. Get the uh, nice big shapes popped in. Try to trim any of the over. Over any muscly stuff to keep Spidey lean. I don't like to mess around when I'm inking either. I like to be reasonably quick and fast about it to keep the energy in the uh, artwork. The slower you go, the less energy your lines have. I think to a degree the duller the picture looks. Sweep these lines in. So reasonably okay. Spidey hand. Again, with this leg and this hand running in the same direction together, I think I possibly would have rubbed that out on um, any other convention sketch or drawing of Spidey, but just for the sake of getting on with it, I will let it go. Um, sort of a, creates an odd sort of parallel between the two figures. Obviously nothing's, you know, any rules that might be made for art uh, are there to be broken. But uh, so it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily a bad thing. If it looks right, then fair enough. I just don't know if it looks quite right. Okay, got most of the big shapes in. Uh, right, just the other arm, and then I'll go in with the, the brush pen to start 
dropping in shadows, giving weight to the figure. Drawing Spidey's fingers <laughs> for some reason. Skinny, skinny knuckles and big fat fingertips. Right, okay, that's do for that bit. Brush pen next. A zig scroll and brush. Brush pen at one end, sort of calligraphy pen at the other. Uh, Without these pens, I think my entire style would collapse. Um, I kind of based <laughs> my entire style around the effects I get with these pens. So uh, please don't stop making them, Zig. Keep up the shape of it, the webbing area of the costume. I don't know. Run the black lines at the ends of that. I may or may not finish this sketch, but. I'll get it to a point where you can see hopefully what it would look like when it is finished. <laughs> but obviously I'm working against the clock. Expressive spidey knees in. Okay, I think I've probably got about three minutes left to do as much as possible on this sketch. So let's see, I'm going to just drop in this big chunk of black hair just to give the uh, figure its solidity. I may have to get away without drawing any webbing, which is a classic Ditko staple of um, Spidey anyway, which is occasionally dropping the webbing out. Usually on the smaller figures, but uh, sometimes it looks kind of cool. Just leaving the webbing out of the big figures too. <laughs> Um, right, I'll quickly do the webbing on his face. He's got that funny little you know, bracket. What's this? A point two, two thick. Okay, 
you get the idea of the webbing there. Right, then with the tip X pen, I will go in and uh, if I can get the tip X pen to work, of course. These things, ever since they took all the all the ozone damaging chemicals out of them, haven't been quite as good as they used to be. So they kind of they used to flow really smoothly, and now they kind of are gloopy and irritating. They do great. So, and I'm, I'm torn between my environmental principles and the fact that I want my drawings to look better. So, uh, if they could only just come up with some nice chemicals that are good for the environment and also make my Tipex pens work brilliantly, that would be super. So please, Mr. Scientists, figure all that out for us, would you? Because my convention sketches. As you can see, by just dropping these white areas in around the perimeter of the figure, it really pops Spidey out. Again, with the Tip X pen, it's nice to be nice and bold. So you get the kind of general idea. That's going to come out quite nice looking. Um, the good thing about the Tip X pen is once it's dried, you can go back in and trim off the little bits where you've made a bit of a mess of it. So that's your Spider-Man sketch, as it would be. Uh, just imagine all these bits finished. Uh, if you want to follow me, I'm on Twitter. On Twitter, I'm John McRae. Uh, I'm McRae Man at McRae Man. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm McRayman1. Thank you for watching. I hope I haven't been too boring. I think that sketch came out quite nice. Cheers.